I want to have a YouTube channel. This is the perfect thing because it combines my love of dancing, of teaching. It also, uh, yes, combines my joy of filming. I love all of my videos and I love every single step of uh, creating my videos. Hello, this is Goldminka. Welcome to a very special video. Today I will take you behind the scenes of my YouTube channel. <laughs> so here on my YouTube channel you will get burlesque dancing and tutorial videos and um, yes today will be a very special video because I will show you step by step from the very first idea to the final video what I do here for Yes, preparing, doing and editing my YouTube videos. And as the production of a YouTube video is mainly divided into three parts, I will be dividing this video also into exactly these three parts, which will be number one, the preparation, number two, the filming and number three, the um, yes, post processing and yes this here is quite new for me because it's my very first behind the scenes video I am curious how this will turn out and because when I learned one thing very quickly is behind a YouTube video there's so much work it really takes hours and hours to get a YouTube video ready so behind a 10 minutes video there are hours and hours of work this is really what I learned very quickly and actually I have never planned to do a YouTube channel. I came to my YouTube channel more or less per accident uh, because I explained to my mother how to launch a YouTube channel. She absolutely wanted to have a YouTube channel and as she is a little bit older already, she is not so the very technical and internet a person so I explained everything step by step to her and suddenly one day I woke up and said I want to have a YouTube channel this is the perfect thing because it combines my love of dancing of teaching because I'm also a belly dance teacher and a burlesque performer and it also uh, yes combines my joy of filming so Dancing, teaching, filming, so a YouTube channel is the perfect thing and it really makes so much more fun than I thought and so I'm running this channel now for nearly 10 years and not 10 years, why do I say 10 years, for nearly <laughs> two years and um, yes, so then let's start with the preparation of the video. So number one the first part of the preparation is of course the content so at first i really make up my mind what video do i want to do so this means i have to get an idea of the title and the content and actually this is not challenging is the wrong word, but this is a little bit tricky for me because I have so, 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 so many ideas that, ideas that I actually could do one video per day if I had the time. So at the end, um, I really have to figure out which, what do I want to do? It's uh, literally sometimes a, a little bit like a kid in the candy shop everything is so beautiful and ah and here and there and i cannot decide and this is the same with my ideas i can show you here each of these keynotes is one video and yes for deciding i do it literally like this i wake up in the morning and think okay today is the perfect day for doing this and this video And then I take my sheet of paper and I write down the title. So the title 
of the video we will prepare here in this behind the scenes video will be spice up your burlesque routine with three super simple moves. So, and yes, of course, you can always let me know which types of videos you want to see here on my channel and you can write it down in the comments or you can also follow me on Instagram because I really would like um, to get and to stay in touch with you. So please just let me know which types of videos, which movements do you want to see here or do you have any struggles with particular moves and yes, what do you want to see and learn here on my YouTube channel? And yes, so follow me, subscribe and so then let's go on with the next part. Once I got the title, I make up my mind which movements do I want to have in my video. So which movements, how many movements and in which order. This I also write down on my sheet of paper and I really write all this per hand. And as I'm afraid you cannot read it, I prepare it here for the video. So in my Spice Up Your Burlesque video, I will do the following movements. Number one, a hip move. Number two, arm leg. And number three, a shoulder twirl. So then I got this, I got the title and the structure. And in the next part, which is really the biggest part of the preparation, I really make up my mind. What is the point of each of these moves? So what is the essence? What do I have to explain and how that you really um, know and understand how to do a movement? And my computer switched off. Okay, then I... So what's really the point and essence of each of these moves and what really helps me here is my experience as a former belly dance teacher. I don't teach anymore but um, I used to teach for some years and before this I've been a student and I went to so many belly dance lessons, burlesque workshops and everything. So this experience and Yes, experience really helps me to prepare my video because I really make up my mind what is important for the movement to explain. I really want to explain the movement on point and as simple as possible. And here in my video, I really, for example, make up my mind for this, for the hip movement. It is important to have a nice posture, especially arms and legs and feet have to be nice. Don't have, don't move your upper body too much and the movement looks good from the back and from the front. Number two, the second, the arm leg movement. Here it's important to have a flat, uh, flat back, stomach in, ribcage open, etc, etc and so on and so on. Another example uh, for explaining movements is for example the shimmy move. I have done a shimmy video here. The shimmy is the fast hip movement, the drrrr in belly dance, so the really quick shaking with the hip. And this movement is not just a random shaking, it's really a move you can really learn from the point, really from the bottom. And the, the, the essence of this movement is for, for getting this shimmy movement, you just have to bend your knees front and back. And this is what your hip makes. You move uh, up and down. So you bend your knees and with this you move your hip. And then I also make up my mind, is there anything you should avoid? So in the shimmy move, for example, don't block your knees, leave your upper body still and leave your heels on the floor. So all these things um, I write down into my sheet of paper. Actually, um, I script my whole video. I don't script it word by word, but I really take the, the most important key notes. And this is really taking me 
yes, several hours and I'm uh, dividing this into several days. And sometimes I add things again, I cross things out or I have other ideas and I adjust a little bit. So, and the best ideas always come to me when I'm not thinking about it. For example, when I'm in the shower or when I go to, uh, when I go for a walk or something and then I, yes, I have to memorize and, and then when I come home, I quick write them down. So at the end, I have sheets and sheets of papers. And yes, now the theoretical part of the preparation is done. I know uh, which video, what and how to explain it. And then it comes to the next part of the preparation, which is building up the camera set. And this is what we will do now. So come with me and let's build up the camera set. <laughs> so for shooting my videos, I have my tripod and my little camera. I didn't pay attention to any technical uh, features in particular. I use my Sony Alpha 520 camera. <laughs> and yes, um, I like this camera because of the display you can change like this so I can see myself while filming and I'm happy with this camera. And at the end, a camera is a camera. So yes, it takes good pictures and I'm happy with this. And for the lightning, I use my LED panels. Uh, they are very small and compact. They make good light and I'm happy with this. And yes, that, that's my technical equipment for filming my videos. So now I have built up my camera set. I have scripted my video. And now we can already come to the last part of the preparation of the video. Me, my hair, my makeup and my clothes. So, yes. <laughs> And yeah, yes, finally, I'm ready, I am done. And now we finally can start shooting our video. <laughs> so this means we are ready with the section number one, the preparation of the video. And we start right away, only some hours later, <laughs> with the second check second section of a video shooting. This is really the shooting of the video. And yes, later afterwards, we will also do the thumbnail photo shooting. But now let's start with the video. <laughs> Drei, zwei, eins. Sieht man mich da?
Hello! In this video, I show you how to spice up your burlesque routine with three super simple moves. My name is Goldminka, I'm a burlesque performer and a belly dance teacher. And here on my YouTube channel, you will get burlesque dancing and tutorial videos for a beautiful you. So if you are interested in this, subscribe to my channel. So now finally I'm done with the video shoot. I'm quite happy with this, although uh, there are some little things that could be better, but I think this is always like this. And uh, yes, I just leave it like this. I'm enjoying my videos so much and it's okay for me when it's not 100%. At the beginning I was stressing myself very much with this. So when I started my YouTube channel and there was something I didn't like in my videos, I started all over again and again and again and again. And yes, now it's just okay when there are some little sections that still could be better. <laughs> And yes, so that's, I'm a little bit also tired now because yes, all this preparation and video shoots, this sometimes really makes me a little bit um, tired. And yes, I'm also a little bit surprised how the, the whole video uh, changes because of the lightning. So this is really, that struggles me here with this uh, behind the scenes video that uh, with the lightning, everything looks a little bit different. You never see it in my real videos because there I always use those LED panels but here I'm just using natural daylight and room light and this everything looks different but yes. <laughs> and um, so now I have done the video shoot so this is now the first part of section number two and I hope you still can follow me with all the steps. <laughs> And now let's come to step number two of the second section. So second check section is filming and the second part now <laughs> is the photo shoot for the thumbnail picture. <laughs> and therefore I have to change the whole camera set again. So let's start with, yes, the photo shoot. <laughs> So here I'm doing my photo shoot for the thumbnail picture. I'm doing this in front of my white wall and I really take my time with this. I'm taking about 35 to 40 pictures and hoping that one picture will be the one and only yes, picture of the pictures. And I'm trying different poses and different angles. I'm really enjoying the whole process. And yes, uh, some pictures are very good and some pictures unfortunately turn out like this. And yes, so let's take some more pictures and then let's take a look at them. <laughs> Today is a new day because yesterday I have just been too tired so I will continue today with the final part of shooting a video and this is the post-processing part. And the post-processing part is editing the video, 
creating a thumbnail and finally uploading it. So let's edit the video. Therefore, I switch my camera around and I will show you now. So this is how my video project looks like. This is the real film. Here's the first layer. This is the sound and this is the music part here down here. I hope you can see it. And all those extra things here are the little things I add in the video. So for example, the name of the moves. So these cards I have prepared earlier. And here I also have things like, for example, the subscribe button or my favorite, the mini Minka here. So this is mini Minka and I want to do her a little bit smaller now. And yes, therefore I just, yes, minimize her a little bit and I can put her wherever I want. So for example, here or here. So I really like my Shibi Mies or Mini Minkas. My sister did them for me and yes, they're really uh, cute. I just love to have them in my videos. So this is then the whole video. And yes, so now I um, just download the whole video. And then I'm done with uh, the editing part of the video. And Tada! Finally, I can upload it on YouTube. So I just now um, yes, download the whole thing and yes. <laughs> so this is how I edit my videos. When I first saw this editing program, I thought, oh my God, what is this? I had no idea at all about editing videos and I really had to learn a lot. But it really makes fun. I enjoy it. And yes, so for me, every um, video I create, I film and I edit is a little masterpiece. I love all of my videos and I love every single step of uh, creating my videos. Yes, so I really love doing YouTube videos. This is yes, the perfect thing because it combines my um, passion for dancing, teaching, filming and yes, so I'm really happy um, with my channel <laughs> and yes, uh, and if you also like my videos then please subscribe to my channel and yes, so, um, but we um, still have to do our thumbnail. And out of my 100,000 pictures I have taken yesterday in my photo shooting, I have chosen this one here. Out of this picture, I made this picture and out of this picture, I have created this thumbnail. So yes, I like the thumbnail really much. And yes, as soon as I had it ready, I remembered that I have another picture out of my photo shootings that perfectly fit as a thumbnail and this is this. So I did a second thumbnail <laughs> and now I can't decide. I really love them both. So I really love thumbnail number one and thumbnail number two. I can't really decide. And yes, please help me and let me know which thumbnail, thumbnail do you prefer? Thumbnail number one or two? Just type in into the comments one or two. And yes, thank you. This would help me so much. And now I can finally upload the video. And this is already the end of my behind the scenes video. Thank you very much for going through all these steps with me. And yes, I hope I could reveal the secret or I hope you really enjoyed um, going through this whole process with me. I really enjoyed it very much. And yes, this is my first behind the scenes video. It was a big challenge for me and um, I liked it really much as really, yes, as yeah, burp, 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 now I'm really done because I have, was talking so much, filming, editing, and yes, so now <laughs> I think it's time to finish this video. And here you can watch the final result of my video. I have uh, shoot it in this video. And 
Yes, so, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and to let me know all your video wishes. Thank you very much again for watching and see you in this video. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>